Hey YouTube friends, this is my setup I'm going to use to make the low powered AM transmitter. And I'm going to be using the, the glass here. And uh, I had to repair this. This is a cheaper unit. It looks good, but it's cheap. So I had to repair it. I used this, this picture frame wire and put this little uh, bridge in here. It's like a bridge on like a fret on a guitar. And then I got my lights all hooked up again. You see, I could focus this light on a good beam here. So that, that should be pretty good. And I picked up this here. I got this today at Radio Shack. And I think this is pretty good. It's an anti-static service kit. High quality, static, dissipative mat with built-in dual jack ground connector. Provides a safe mobile workstation for technicians and hobbyists. And there's the other criteria on here. So, I'm going to use this and open it up and set it up and use that for the static on the board because the board uses uh, surface mount IC and it uses other ICs in it too. So I don't want to damage any of those components. And uh, it's going to be dry tonight. Uh, a lot of storms went out and moved out. And it's going down into maybe upper 30s tonight. So the air is getting a lot drier. So I wanted to get something like this to protect my work. And that's it. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I got the mat here. And what you do is it says you uh, take the alligator clip off and you use the banana plug and you plug it into the ground like this. Cool, huh? And this is your, your wrist strap here. And that all connects here, so you want to make sure that that's pressed in good. I like the snap that they have there. And then you slip this on your wrist. Like that, like so. And now I'm uh, ESD protected. And this is a, a high quality nylon mat. And actually it's pretty good. It's $24.95 and I think it's worth it. Because you don't want to blow up any chips. Especially in a drier environment. And it's going to be dry tonight. It's going to go into the upper 30s and high pressure and it's getting dry and it's going to be making static. So you want to be ESD protected. At least that's what I'm doing. I read that uh, wood is ESD neutral. And sometimes it could be conductive if there's like moisture in it. But, you know, I'd rather just do this. Get all connected like I'm supposed to. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, get the instructions out. And I, I kind of looked at this over, you know, they, it's pretty comprehensive. Tell you everything you need for tools. But what they want you to do, and this is a great idea, go through the parts list first. So what I'm going to do is strap myself in. And I don't, I don't have anything to really test this with. You know, they have special tools that you could test out, you know, uh, to see if this is actually, like, operational. They have a device that you press a button, and it goes, like, green if it's good or red if it's bad. But, you know, I got, I got this on tight. This is brand new. I got the wrist strap on. And I have the, uh, the plug into the, the ground of the socket there. And there's an internal uh, resistor in here. It says, I think it was a, um, yeah, one mega ohm resistor inside of there. So everything should be good. So I'm just going to go through the parts list and start going through things. Here's everything in the box. So I got everything on the table. And uh, I know that's the power transformer there. So I'm just going to get going and do all the parts. You, you know, YouTube friends, I was just noticing that on the step-by-step -step assembly instructions, 
They start with the fixed resistors first, the quarter watt resistors. And to be honest with you, you know, that's how the parts list started too. So, uh, you know, these, these parts are so small to handle. Here are the little resistors they use. So it's probably better just, you know, finding a resistor, checking it off on the parts list. And, uh, and then what you could do is just go here and check it off on the step-by-step -step instructions and instead of handling the resistors twice so that's what I'm gonna do I'll be honest with you it's so much easier using the glass because I don't know if you can see it with this you know with this camera but it, it's so much easier to see the lettering and the holes and all that going through the glass than not going through the glass so it's easier for me to see. It's hard to see with this camera, but that's that's the truth. Like here's our little uh, 22 ohm resistor, which is red, red, black. It's pretty small. I mean, the resistor isn't much bigger than the diameter of the wire, but it's so much better than trying to not use the glass, not use the loop. Okay, I got my first resistor just kind of placed in there. Uh, R8, the 22 ohm resistor. And just like it says in the diagram here, it says like spread the leads a little bit, hold the, hold the resistor in place. So that's what I did. So what I'm going to do is uh, populate the board of the resistors and double check everything of course and solder them all in one shot and I think that's a good way of doing it you know just solder in one shot and then clip the leads and then proceed to the next kind of component so that's how I'm gonna do it so that's it we're just gonna keep progressing here okay here's the next resistor R3 100 ohms brown black brown and uh, I got it there and what I'm going to do is just test it out make sure it is 100 ohms because uh, they had orange in there too and the brown and the orange look pretty close but I'm pretty sure this is brown but I might as well check it anyway it doesn't, doesn't hurt anything to double check and here's my meter let's see yeah, 99.5, so that's close to 100. So that'll be my next one, R3. Yeah, I'm really doing great. I found I made a mistake after two resistors. I put the, the 220 ohm, which is red, red, brown, and I put that where the 22 ohm is supposed to go. So I found that mistake right away. It's a good thing that uh, I decided to check it with a meter. So that seems like a good thing to do check each one with a meter make sure you got the right color code because it's easy to mess up because these things are so small so R25 is red red brown so I put that where it was supposed to go and I just gotta dig up the red red black which is really the 22 ohm resistor which is in here somewhere wish me luck kids well I found the three 220 ohm red red browns I got them in still looking for the red red black 22 ohms Eureka 21.9 actually it looks red red gray it does really I kid you not I find this is more of an IQ test like for instance I got this resistor here and you have to like jump around to do these I'm looking at this one here and if I can see it it's red something and orange it's either black or purple red something and orange so we gotta actually measure that and see what we got Measure it. Come on. It's pretty high. Let's go up here. 
the lower. Let's try this here. Yeah. 26.6. Let's say it's 27K. There it is. It's red, violet. It's red, violet, orange. 27K R1. So it's like an IQ test. Like, if you can't read it, and I'm just jumping around because some of the colors look very similar. Okay, I got the board all populated with the resistors. I try to make it pretty neat where the the body of the resistor is equidistant between the, uh, the solder holes on the PC board. So it looks pretty good. Uh, now it's just all populated. On the other side, I got the wires that I kind of bend a little sideways to hold the resistors in. And the only thing I got left on resistors is uh, I got the 10-pin SIP, which is related to the DIP. And the SIP is um, Single Inline Package. That's what it stands for. And I got the R8 resistor, or R18, R18 resistor. And that's that resistor, you leave it out if you're going to be uh, using over a hundred kilo a thousand kilohertz if you're using below a thousand kilohertz you put that resistor in so i left it out for now because i think i'll be using above a um, thousand kilohertz so that's it i got them all populated so tomorrow i will solder it and then i'll have all the resistors in except for the sip and R18. Uh, take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.